Hi everyone, Cinder 9 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1, Dawn of Souls. Our friend left on a journey to the west. He took the warp cube and went to see our master. So they tell you you need the warp cube. Which you should already have. By the way, I keep forgetting, but I rearranged the items just a bit to put the healing staff up top so I wouldn't have to scroll all the way down. And make sure you do that. If you use an item a lot in battle, like a reusable item, like healing staff or anything like that, reusable item. You know, like a weapon that can be used as an item. If you use it a lot, sort your inventory and put it closer to the top. Just saves time. Mirage Tower Floor 3. Warverns and Worms. See, now I can just easily healing staff like so. But you see that Psy can't use it, of course. Both people can't be using the same item. <laughs> just something to point out. And you see, I actually have 8 hits now. We leveled up and 47 would gave me enough agility because I think I had an agility increase to get eight hits. So I think that's what fact what uh what does it is agility and just your class in general. You see, I swing three times instead of just yay sound effects. Here we go. This looks right. Blue Dragon. Roar, Blue Dragon. Anyway. Should have been tougher. Uh, for those of you nearer to the channel, I really like dragons, and I don't think they're ever they're they're usually not strong enough in games. Use the warp cube to travel beyond the sky. It will take you to the flying fortress. Use the warp cube and flying fortress floor one. There are a few different pathways to go. They saw there was a left and right, and I think there's an up. I think there's only four. No, more than four. No. I think this first part, there's only four paths. I think straight up is the is the way to the way to move on I think we'll see but you'll want to check all the pathways for treasure items again there's really good stuff in here please don't miss it hey major staff not quite enough but this will do Razor obtained from chest. A saber that casts Scourge when used. Scourge? Is that one of the insta-kill ones? And it doesn't have a lot of attack power. Sure. Should be at the bottom since we just got it. Nope, doesn't even get to go. Oh well. <laughs> it's there. You can grab that. Please continue to give me this battle because it's really simple. And a lot of cash. Earth Medusa. I think it's just a bigger Medusa. Spirit Naga and Air Elemental. So here's the Air Elemental. And Blink, which is annoying. Because that gives a fade. Thor's Hammer. And Mage Stone. Oh, didn't evade that. You're dead. <laughs> Four Manticores. Thor's Hammer. Mage Stone.
and Thor's hammer. This should do it. Is it up, really? Money. Another healing helm. So you can have two healing helms. Helm that casts heal when used. I don't need to equip it. I have a diamond helm. But you can use it. Reason would be why. Well, let's say your white mage is running low on MP. White wizard, in this case. You can have the two knights use heal, the healing helms, and then use the healing staff. You could get a, a lot of healing out of just using your items at this point. Which is, which is nice to have. The game rewards you for grabbing the treasures. It really does. Protect ring, which we already have, though. We bought those for everybody. I suggest you do the same. Death Knight. As you can see, it's different. And Nightmare. Yeah, we'll use Thor's hammer. Answer to you. Use Thor's hammer. Probably won't be enough. And the mage staff should be. But, oh yeah, okay. Good enough. Now to the other side. Once we get past all the black knights. Items are great because they allow you to save MP. Now, sometimes in certain RPG games, you can't abuse that. You can't. Here, you really could. You could use them all. You could really take full advantage of them. But I guess, apparently, game creators saw that and decided to put limits on them. Uh, sometimes the item can become damaged, and then you have to repair it. Sometimes the item breaks, and then you don't have the item anymore. There are... Oh, wow, I really like the way they did Dispel. That's cool. I like the way that looks. How it, uh, you had the, uh, rainbow, like, shield, I guess you could say, and then it just shatters. That's neat. But like I was saying, items in some RPGs can, uh, become damaged where you have to repair them, or you, they just shatter and you lose them outright. Which, uh... The only way you really know that is by testing it out. <laughs> 10 HP, 4 MP, Strength, Agility, Intelligence, Lock. 10 HP, 4 MP, Strength, Intelligence, Lock. 7 HP, 9 MP, Stamina. 26 HP, 22 MP, Intelligence. Yay, the Black Mage got MP, or HP. As we've seen, that's not, uh, that's pretty rare. <laughs> Healing Staff. It's just a fantastic thing to have. A potion, money, money, and money. Huh. Okay. So a lot of cash in that one. Now that we've seen all the... All the places here, we'll just head up. The good thing, even though there are a lot of fights, from an LP or standpoint, at least the fights don't last long. So, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> Seven minutes, and then Major Stack. Right. You may be wondering, you know, I haven't casted Flare yet. Well, I've not had a, a really big reason to. Don't worry, something will get hit with Flare upside the face eventually. <laughs> and the enemy won't like it. Step onto here, Flying Fortress Floor 2. Or second floor. As you can see, there are more paths to take. You would cast Blaze. Hit, hit, healing staff attack. 
which doesn't matter because that's why. We're gonna take all these paths, cottage, mithril helm, so if you didn't have mithril equipment already, or you missed one of the uh, healing helms, there you go. Ambushed again, and blazes cast again, great! I'm gonna try. Nope. Try to get that HP back. And we'll just make a clockwise, no, counterclockwise circle around the room. I had to think about which direction I was going. <laughs> Poison darts! That can poison the party. Kind of self-explanatory. But I do like the effect in this game, where you actually see, like, you know, a whole bunch of needles fly out. That's neat. Alright, we need to go this way. And the reason we're going to check all these rooms is because there's... I think it's here. There's a very important item we want to get. Uh, it's not needed to complete the game, but it's very important. Money. Money? Nope, not there. The money can be used to buy spells if you still haven't bought them all. But it's it's funny, they give you so much money now. I guess you could buy items with it. That's true. But, uh, you really don't need that much money anymore. That's the... the weird part. It's really, at the beginning of the game, spells to an extent and night equipment really uh, really get you. As you can see, this is different. Grab this. You obtain adamantite. Now, if you remember way back close to the beginning of this LP, wasn't there somebody that wanted adamantite? Yes, there is. And we'll be giving it to that person after we complete the dungeon. Hit. Okay. Let's move on, and we'll take the next path. And of course, uh, that's fine. That's okay, as long as it's just an evil eye, because you die in one hit. Of course, this is the way you came from. Down here. See if there's anything. Oh wow! Ruby went first. Could have healed, even though nobody really needs healing. Stone golems! Sorry, just habit of going up there. I have I've had the healing staff up there for so long. Black robe obtained from the chest. Ambush, ambush, blaze. Wow, you are great at that this episode. Ambush, blaze. Ambush, blaze. Not an attack. No, if he gets the ambush, blaze. <laughs> Without fail. And a white robe obtained from the chest. A robe that casts Invisra when used, or Invis 2. This is neat, because they actually have another robe for your mages, which is interesting because we've had these armlets for so long. Now, as you can see, the diamond armlet is a better piece of protection. But what you can do is use the white robe in battle to give your uh, wizard some evasion and some better a better chance to to get out of the way. There may be something else with the right white robe that I'm forgetting. Black robe, a robe that casts Blizzard when used. Now, because, yes, I'm going to lose one evasion, but because it's identical defense-wise to the ruby armlet, I'm going to put it on. So you can cast Blizzra, you can cast uh, Fira, or you can put on the uh, wizard staff and cast Confuse. 
Now you have the two spells of all the elements at your disposal. With the Thor's Hammer, you have Lit 2. With the Major Staff, you have uh, Fire 2. And with the Black Robe, you have Ice 2. Pretty neat, I think. So you can just cast, if you know what the enemy is weak to, you can cast it, use the appropriate item, or just whatever, whatever flavor you want. Here, we'll use ice, just because. There we go. 30 HP, 14 MP, agility. 10 HP, 15 MP, strength, agility. 7 HP, 20 MP, Strength, Agility, Intelligence, and 4 HP, 12 MP, Strength, Intelligence. Now, if you do get the Black Row, you find it, you will more than, uh, you will more than likely want to use, uh, use it, because Ice is typically a little stronger in this game than the other spells, because it's typically a higher level of spell in this game, you Now, I see we got a diamond shield, which Leo's already using, and I have the Aegis shield, but uh, it's there. And we got another ribbon, a ribbon that wards off special attacks. Now remember, you can give this to a, to a knight, and have them be immune to special attacks. But, it lowers their defense by quite a bit. And Sai already has a ribbon. And Ruby has a ribbon. So, gonna wear a ribbon. Yes, I now have a ribbon in my hair. <laughs> and if you could be immune to all special attacks and magic, and, well, not magic, but all bad status effects by wearing it, you'd wear a ribbon too. I wear one. If I could get like a magic ribbon where I'd never get sick again, darn right I'd wear a ribbon in my hair. <laughs> no problem with that whatsoever. Diamond gloves? Gloves made of diamond. As you see, they have the same defense, but even less evade than the Protect Ring. There is no reason to not use the Protect Ring. You should be using the Protect Ring. Not only is he a, a great defensive equipment item, just stats-wise, it makes you immune to insta-death. And every class can use it. Please make sure you grab a... Uh, you grabbed the Protect Rings episodes ago and have been using them. They're just that good. Alright. Now we'll just use potions. Okay. And that's our trip around. Or wait, did we come from the top or the... No, no, we, we came from the top path. The bottom path is the way to the next one. Sorry, got that backwards earlier. Once you've grabbed everything, head here. Flying Fortress 3. And you see there's a robot. Guardian Soldier. And Major Star. Hit, hit, hit. Okay. From this observation window, you can look out on the entire world. Really? The observation window looks upon the world. The four forces of fire, earth, 
water and wind appear as a mist converging on a single point. A point at the center of the four altars. That must be the location of the Chaos Shrine. Where is it? Right there, huh? As you can see, there's the four altars. This is really cool. I don't remember this fancy, this fancy graphic. And you see, they're all pulling right there at that spot. What was right here? If you can remember. We haven't been there for a very long time. Uh, let's see. Let's explore here. I think there's more items we can grab. Analyzing Tiamat. No known weaknesses. No known weaknesses, huh? Dark Fighter. Oh, he got a preemptive strike, which is good. As you can see, this is a bigger Dark Elf. If I remember right, expect bigger spells as well. <sighs> Been there already. <laughs> Ambushed. I think we got just about all the good stuff in here, though. I think so, anyway. Staff. We'll attack, and that'll be it. Oh, this will be simple, thankfully. Oh no, it gets to go first. See, it doesn't even ambush. It's just like, nope, first place. <laughs> just to keep the trend going. Okay, well, nothing there. That was a waste of time. Healing staff. Yay. Attack. And ready to in that room. Oh good, just a soldier. Oh, you do more damage than your guardian counterpart. Good to know. Alright, let's head to the west here, see what we find. Alright. Oh, here we go. I think this is the way we want to go. Fire Hydra. Say hello to this black robe. <laughs> Red Fang. No, I don't want to sort because that put the staff back down. Red Fang. That's the only problem with that. Casper, it's a one-use item. Which aren't as useful in... Th which really aren't that useful in this game, because as long as you found the right items, you have an infinite using... You know, Fire 2 in this case. HP 34, 15 MP, Strength, 34 HP, 4 MP, Strength, 7 HP, 9 MP, Intelligence, Luck... 4 HP, 24 MP, Intelligence Luck. Yeah. Here we go. Gold Needle. Monster. <laughs> and Mage Knight. 
You're dead. <laughs> Good. Money. Money. Sus. Sasuke's blade? Sasu Sasuke's blade. Which is... Where? A small katana used by ninja. Yes, this is a ninja-only weapon. And a really good one at that, if I remember right. So, if you... Got a... This is like one of the very few weapons that the knight cannot use. <laughs> uh, if you had a thief and it upgraded to ninja, make sure you grab this. What I'm going to do, because this episode is getting close to being over, I'm going to cut and uh, just meet you at other treasure chests. There's just, much like the first, uh, the first room we were, there were just kind of four different paths to go. There should be just a one up north and one to the east. So I'll meet you at those. Alright, this is the north room. We have 9k, another protect ring, a potion, and more money. So again, another protect ring. If you didn't buy them already. That gives you two here. Which isn't bad, but really, you, you really should have bought them by now. I should have bought them way earlier, because, again, they're just such a great accessory item. Okay, meet you at what I think is the last treasure chest room. And here we go, the room to the right of where we entered. Almost right next to the robot. Money, a gold needle, clothes, a protect cloak, and money. Let's see, protect cloak, huh? that is a large cloak won't worn over armor oh very cool that's what this is this is a shield that mages can actually use it counts as a shield even though it's a it's a cloak worn over the armor very neat this is great make sure you pick this up and of course I'm gonna give it to the light wizard more survivability for the person that's going to keep everybody healthy. I'll fight through this, and then I'll meet you at back at that warp point to the west. Alright, here we go. Flying Fortress, Floor 4. Now, we can just keep running as as much as we want this is a little bit of a puzzle you could run up as far as you want it's not gonna get you anywhere and you'll just eventually loop around you have to take the correct path on which way you want to go And it's just trial and error, because I don't think anybody tells you the uh, the right way. I remember spending a lot of time here. Now, hopefully it's the same <laughs> as the, uh, the NES version. Should be. If it is, then, then I'll know. I should be able to find it. We'll see. <laughs> well, just everybody attack then. Ten HP, four MP, agility, stamina. Ten HP, fifteen MP, agility, stamina. Seven HP, nineteen MP. 
29 HP, 13 MP. Good, another good HP level for some. And you see, we're back here. Neocho! I think we've seen these these enemies before on the uh, river, but here they are again. Staff. One of the river segments. And hit, that should do it. Okay. Let's see if I remember this. We go down twice, and then right twice, I think. I remember having to do this a lot. So that's one. I hate getting into fights because I, I forget what I was doing. <laughs> so I need to go down one more and then head to the right. Which again, this isn't hard if you've been through it before. If you have it, then you can spend a lot of time here, and this could drain on your uh, HP and MP reserves. Oh, good. Got the healing stack on. Be down by the staff. And then we go to the right twice, and we should end up at the right place. Come on, just got through a fight. Attack, attack, doors, hammer, and black road. That'll take care of the Medusas, the Raka Sha, Shasas, Sha, Shasa. Anyway, they probably, oh, they died good. They weren't dying before, maybe that level helped. And then over again. Yeah, there it is. Good. And you take that, and you're at the next level. Now, this episode is going to go long because I'd like to finish this fortress, uh, th this area right now. Black Flan. Okay. That's not too bad. There is a very dangerous enemy you can face here. I think this is the, sp this is the spot. Pretty sure. It's, I don't know if it has the same name. In the NES, it was called the War Mech. And it could quickly destroy your party. Oh, arrow limitals. It's rare that you fight it. But if you do, you'll want to run. It has a ton of attack power, insta-kill things up its sleeve, which the Protect Ring will help you from. But I just remember it hitting extremely hard insta kill quite a bit of hp it's a very very dangerous creature you can face here pretty sure it's here remember there, this being this long corridor and facing it so i think it's right there and that's annoying when you've gone through all of this and you, you couldn't save here like like you can in this version and then all of a sudden oh your journey's over. Go back to where you saved right outside the tower because you used a tent or something. Uh, Bad memories. The Lich. Marleth the Kraken. You've defeated three fiends and reached my lofty perch. True. More the better. May the image of Tiamat, the Fiend of Wind, be the last to burn in your eyes! Heh, <laughs> funny that you use that! Yeah, burn, because that's exactly what you're going to do is burn. Because it's fun, blink, blink, it's race evasion. Race party's defense. And, here's the kicker! Flare, speaking of burn, blink! 
Blank. Protect for everybody. Thunderbolt. Which you can see does a fair amount of damage. That was cool. I like the way they made Flare look. Typically, Flare is as you'll see that. Uh, especially in the older games where it all the little fire you know fire hits the little little uh spots of fire all over which i like that's kind of flares thing okay with that start swinging we could also use oh let's let's use holy let's have fun with that and flare again poison gas Another uh, high damage attack it has. Holy! I like the way that one looks. Let's do and Flare. As you can see, the damage of Flare is intense. It does so much damage. That's why it's such a great thing to grab. It is expensive at 50. But that's... The amount of damage you get out of it is just... It's what really makes the Black Mage shine. You're putting up more of a fight. We'll cast Null All. Oh, that's right. Null All only does one person. Eh. Thought I hit everybody. Oh, well. Holy... And Ice Storm. Tiamat has a lot of hit the entire party, big damage attacks. Use your biggest attacks as well. You want to end the fight sooner than later. Okay. That breaks this open. This is the altar of wind from which the power of wind flows forth. Step here, and per usual, you get warped out. And all the crystals are lit, but our journey's not over yet. Remember, we saw that window where the power of the of the crystals is converging in one place. We're gonna do to start the episode a quick side questy thing. It'll be very fast. Uh, after that, you will want to fully stock up. Potions, high potions, ethers, whatever you can buy. Stock up and be ready for the last area of the game. But we'll do that next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. I'm Sindre9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.